Hello, this is the Trade Tech US Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Thursday the 15th and Friday the 16th of July 2021. As usual, we don't typically do a market preview for Fridays. This will be no different because it is options expiration week. So Friday is going to be options expiration, probably a bust as usual. Uh, it's been a slow week so far. We'll look at some of that. Here's the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market in futures form. Um, not much to see. You'll see more when we look at the intra week action. Here's the crude oil down 22 cents to 72.91. Gold closes up $3.10 to 1828. The S&P cash gains five points. Uh, the NASDAQ 100 gains 25.89. Uh, new closing high, barely on the NASDAQ, but it was much higher at our intraday. Uh, King and Queen formation. There's SOX down 11.62, came up near the risk line from that 13 sell signal and sold off, closed near the lows of the day in an engulfing pattern. Biotech's down 63. That doesn't look good. Kind of a head and shoulders formation there. Russell 2000 down 36.5. Also doesn't look good. So the market's overall not looking great here. The VIX down 79 cents to 16.33, I think, which is a little deceptive. Uh, the trend closes at 1.08 to 1.07, puts the 10-day at 1.16. If I count backwards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, we don't have any big numbers dropping off yet. A couple more days. Uh, the NASDAQ volume is 4.4 billion shares. 4.5 basically, which is right on the 10-day moving average. Advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ was negative 15.63. On the New York was negative 5.17, negative 5.25, sorry. Not as bad, but still negative. Google gains a 17.91. There's a 13 sell signal in place on the Google daily chart, and we hit the risk line of that. I should also point out, well, we'll get there in a second. Apple up $3.51. Kind of a gap and hold day if we gap back down that could be a floating island that would not look pretty on apple netflix down seven dollars and 27 up seven dollars and 27 cents amazon up four dollars and 32 cents tesla down 15.16 facebook loses four dollars and 46 cents again this one had a 13 cell signal a couple days ago hit the risk line from that and now rolling over, so starting to work on the short side there. Zoom down 17.78. That doesn't look good. Goldman Sachs down a dollar fifty-eight. TLT, the 20-year bond ETF up a dollar sixty-five. Um, again, there's a 13 sell signal in place there. The Dow is up just 44 points. Bitcoin just at 32,790. In terms of intraday action, so here's what we've got uh, for the week. Like here's Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday so far. Nothing. Right, the, the action is always on the sell side, but overall nothing there. And when we look at the Nasdaq side, kind of the same story. Mm, very flat Monday, moved up Tuesday, got a 13 sell signal, rolled all the way back over, and then Wednesday gapped up, sold off, and closed about even. So there's more selling waves than there are buying waves. Was any of that the options unraveling move? Hard to say, but probably some of that's in there somewhere. So we'll see what that leads to uh, moving forward. So. Uh, that's a look at the markets, obviously, in terms of uh, calendar events, economic data uh, for the rest of the week as we are heading into earnings season. we got the Philly Fed Manufacturing Index, weekly initial and continuing jobless claims numbers, Empire State Manufacturing Index, and import-export prices at 8.30 a.m. Thursday morning, industrial production capacity utilization at 9.15, natty gas at 10.30, on, that's all on Thursday, and then on Friday, retail sales an hour before the bell, Preliminary University of Michigan sentiment at 10 along with business inventories. And again, uh, it is uh, options expiration. Not usually a big one in July. It's not a triple expiration. We're in the middle of summer, which is slow. Uh, so we'll see what we get. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading Thursday and Friday. Have a good weekend.